Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Requisite Kingdom with what I'm going to start calling Tech Review Thursdays. Because it just so happens that at the time of doing this, I've already got a video for Tuesday. And I know Tech Review Tuesday sounds better, but Tech Review Thursday still has a T, uh, a T in it. So, what? And my dog is opening the... Okay, come on, buddy. Come on. You can't, you can't be doing that right now, buddy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good dog. All right, so... Anyways, Tech Review Thursday, uh, edition one or two, if you want to call the Zoomy headphone review I made, like one of my first videos on the channel, uh, episode one. You know, let's go ahead and call it that. Um, we're going to be going over the Evo Core Immerse Vitals, which is these bad boys right here. And when I say bad boys, yes and no. So let's go over the pros first. The pros are that it has a very long cord. The cons are that it has a very long cord. Uh, the pros are that it has a, uh, a USB plug. Uh, I'm going to actually unplug my headphones because I don't need them uh, for this one. Um, uh, it has a USB and an audio jack. Um, and the cons are that it has a USB and an audio jack. Um, pros, it's got this nice little headband. Cons, it's got these nice little headbands. <laughs> like, everything that's supposed to be a pro about it is a con. Uh, pro, when you, um, let's see if I can do this uh, without going through any setup uh, or turning off my PC because uh, you plug in the USB it does this con if you don't plug in the USB it doesn't do this here I'm gonna pl unplug the USB now and plug in the audio jack the audio jack is plugged in and uh, you guys can't see it but on my computer screen it gave the pop-up that I plugged in the audio jack so the headphones only light up if you plug in the USB. And here's a crazy bad part. If you don't plug in both, that's right, both, you don't get the light up and you also don't get the audio. You cannot get the audio for some reason just plugging in the USB. I don't know why this is, but it's how it is. So let's go step by step through everything that's good with these and everything that's wrong with these. This has one mode of audio honestly off and loud uh i i tried going and loud isn't loud enough is the thing like you either are barely hearing what's coming out and everyone around you is like getting right on through these it's not very sound canceling uh or it's loud but it's not so loud that it's like you're really blaring and rocking out to any sound anything like it's the audio could be better is what i'm trying to say here uh, so as far as audio quality is concerned, it could be a lot better. Uh, what I do like here is the uh, the cushioning here. It fits over my ear pretty well. Uh, it's very soft. These are like, this is like some of the best padding ear covering that I've had in a pair of headphones like ever. Like almost literally any pair I've ever put on. Even pairs that I just went to the store and like tried on. It's really good there. So if you're looking for comfort like as far as being over your ears is concerned at least with the padding, really good for that. Now one problem is the headbands. It says that it's adjustable size here, and as you can see it is like this black band here is in fact adjusting, but the problem with that is that it only goes to larger sized heads, which means that like these are like kind of below my ear, but like they can't get tighter. And the problem with them not getting tighter is that this thing right here like you cannot adjust the size i mean you might be able to if you take like a screwdriver and unscrew all four screws on each side of this and then do some minute like yanking like headphones aren't supposed to require that like kind of forceful effort and then the worst part about this is that i'll just be minding my own business walking around uh, and I'll just gently bump into something and this pushes like the entire pair of headphones like out of position And so like your headphones will like fall off or it'll just be in a really uncomfortable position randomly and when I'm sitting in the car uh, Like not driving uh, Obviously if I'm driving I'm I'm in control of the music and I'm not doing like I don't drive yet though is the thing so eventually I won't need this for like playing music in the car because it'll just be me driving my own car listening to my own music, but as far as sit, being a passenger and listening to this, like, you bump the roof of the vehicle a lot, and this pushes it down like this. And 
it'll also not always go straight down. It'll go back, it'll go forward, and it'll just fall off. Like, there's no adjustment with getting this tight enough so that that doesn't happen. I mean, at least with a pair of headphones where it is well adjusted and you, like, hurt yourself, it's like, uh, it's not, like, an extreme, like, cartoon imprint in your head of the headphones. It's like, alright, whatever. At least my headphones are still on, you know? And then one of the worst parts of this uh, is the cord being like nine feet long. It's literally nine feet long. Uh, I've done the measurements uh, myself and it says that it's nine feet. It's nine feet. And one of the biggest problems with this is that not everyone is using it for uh, playing in their living room like nine feet back from the system. Like all that's happening to me is that I've got this massive like extra six feet of cord just dangling down by my knees right now and like when you're trying to walk around the house or go for a walk with these on they're like they're like getting around your kneecaps and like there's always the threat that you're gonna yank them out it's like are you kidding me i'm just trying to walk, walk with my headphones and <laughs> it just you can't you can't do it and i'm a tall dude any shorter person like shorter people like i don't know five six shorter you might find yourself stepping on the cord and tripping over it and face planting in the road and getting hit by a car like that's a bit of an exaggeration but it's certainly possible for shorter people with these headphones i mean it's ridiculous the, the cord is too long you can't use it for anyone who's sitting close to the screen even slightly can't even make use of this because of just how bothersome having a cord dangling down is going to be you know it's just annoying uh I, and here's another problem with this, is that if you're going to have it plugged into a PC and you don't have both plugged in because you don't want to also take up a USB slot, which, I don't know, could be used for a keyboard, could be used for your webcam, could be used for your mouse, and you don't have any extra slots left, so you aren't going to use the light-up feature for whatever reason, you've got a dangling USB cord, and it frequently is going to, like... You'll notice I have a rubber band holding this thing down. It's so annoying to just have your cord dangling and then just hear like on the side of your thing. It's 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 frustrating, it's agitating, it's stupid and it's pointless. Like it it'd be it'd be a lot better if they just, you know, it's just a USB for your thing or just an audio jack or hey, we only went with the audio jack and it can like also turn on the Evo cord light up system or something or i don't know maybe made the splitting a little bit shorter so that it's not dangling so far and that's like at least sort of in the same position as the jack so that you only need to do a little bit of reaching and it can do that much reaching i don't, I don't know it's just excessive and then of all the most frustrating things uh about this cord uh it's been most inconvenient with my phone because the way that they've made this audio jack it doesn't plug in through the case of my phone. And the case for my phone is phenomenal. I've dropped this thing so many times. This is gonna become like a side tech review. I, I don't know what my case is. Um, let me see if I can read it. It's a body glove. Um, I got it real cheap. I thought it was gonna be bad. I have not had one crack in my phone and I've had it for like since last June, May, last May, last June range. And I've dropped it so many times and it hasn't broken. The problem is, I can't plug the cord in through the, let me unplug it from the charger. I can't plug this in through the hole here in my, in my, uh, in my phone. So if I want to listen to music or have my headphones in, I've got to bend, bend my glove here. And this has caused it to like fracture. I don't know if the camera's going to pick up on this. Oh yeah, right there. Right, uh, there there it's there's a fracture from having bent it so much and often like having the having your phone case just like pushes it out of the jack anyway it's impossible to comfortably use this with a phone it is impossible because of how thick they've made the jack and that's just frustrating and here is the biggest technological screw up with these pair of headphones this is supposed to be compatible with the Xbox One, the PS4, the PC, and I have actually Googled it online, it's also supposed to be compatible with the PS3. Guess which of these items it is not compatible with. 
at all. Everything except the PC. I can only use it with my phone, which is not listed, and my PC. It, I've plugged in both the USB, the audio jack, at the same time, only one at a time, into our Xbox One. It does not work. It doesn't work at all. PS3, plugged it into the USB, doesn't work. Doesn't work with anything. So the worst part about this is that everything that it's supposed to work for it either doesn't even work for, or it works for poorly in collaboration with multiple other factors. And, and it's just really frustrating. So let's go over the uh, summary of the pros and cons. Pros. Very comfortable padding. Uh, if you are sitting uh, 10 yards back from your, from your TV, like a sane human per being, who is probably not buying a gaming headset, let's be honest, uh, then the cord is about perfect length for that. Uh, again, the padding is comfortable. This band is pretty comfortable. Uh, not these. This one here. Um, the audio quality isn't atrocious. Um, oh, also a little monitor con. This wheel back here, it's like inverted and it's on the back of the headphones. So I find it awkward to like scroll with my thumb. Like, oh hey guys, I'm not scratching my hair. I'm just messing with my headset. Like, uh... And then cons. Bumps out of position very frequently, very inconvenient and stupid to try and adjust the size of the headphones. Um, the cord is way too long for most conventional use. The jacks are just not working at all with conjunction with each other. Uh, you can only have the light up if you use the USB. It doesn't even work with the Xbox or P PS3. Like, uh, audio quality could be better in and of itself. Uh, the jack does not plug into phones that have a case, uh, so you're going to want to replace your entire phone after a little bit of use with it. Uh, overall grade out of 10, I'll give this thing a 3. A very generous 3. Uh, because despite all of the issues, it could be a far worse product. If you can find this for $10, $5, $10 range, I'd say if you're desperate, go ahead and pick it up. At that price, it's like a B minus. Uh, but this was like $20 where we got it, and all these false promises uh, just didn't pan out. So $20, it's an F. Like anything more than $10, it's honestly D minus, and then after 15, it's an F. Don't bother with these at all. It's a waste of your money. Don't do it. Oh, and by the way, it's got a built in mic uh, right here literally does not work for anything at all oh they got a built-in mic man it's a gaming headset no it's not it's garbage it's garbage can't wait to replace the thing uh it's it's better than the zoomy headphones which looking back i rate a zero out of ten worst pair of headphones i have ever owned earbuds really bad earbuds that have made my ears like swell and bruise and even bleed better than the zoomy headphones these 3 out of 10 if you're desperate and it's at a very low price where you're buying them, uh, like 10 or lower, go ahead and go for it. It's at least going to be able to hold you over for a little while until you get a new pair of headphones. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's going to get your phone destroyed if you don't have a really, really, really amazing case. It's a shock that my case hasn't broken from how much I've bent it just to plug these in. It's, it's really inconvenient. It's just everything that it's supposed to be good at, it's not good at. <sighs> so... Or it doesn't do. 3 out of 10. Hope this uh, tech review has been of help to you. Uh, you can help me out by subscribing to the channel, liking the video, leaving a comment down below uh, on maybe what pair of headphones you suggest I buy next and test out. Because we've done two headphone tech reviews and maybe we just keep it going with headphones. Maybe you want me to test something else out. I don't know. Keep in mind I don't have a ton of money. So if we can keep it under $50, uh, I'd be appreciable. And also something that I can use afterwards, you know, because I want to spend $50 for a, a video that's going to get, like, demonetized, copy striked, and, and make me no money. <laughs> so, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next Thursday, maybe.